Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about tea. And more specifically, this is sage tea. Now, if you're Caribbean, tea fixes everything. Okay, I'm sure this is like a multicultural, universal thing. I mean, including in Britain, like pop the kettle on is a national phrase. So we're really gonna talk about tea and its benefits for your hair. So if you're experiencing any excess shedding, I mean, hair sheds about 100 to 150 strands a day. Um, but if you're experiencing anything above your average, maybe in specific areas, you notice there's just constant shedding. And shedding typically is when there's a little bit of a bulb attached, you know that it's directly come from the root of fallout as opposed to breakage anywhere. Of course, there are loads of different ones you can go for. And if you're watching this and you are pregnant, please do not use sage or rosemary tea. I know they say not to drink it. I'm not too sure about how it is topically, but you might as well avoid it. I will leave um, a bunch of other teas and their benefits, their specific benefits, in the description box so you can try one of those. Sage is actually such a power herb. It has got vitamin B, it's got zinc. Zinc is absolutely essential, goes hand in hand with iron and the absorption of iron, which is so, so crucial for anyone experiencing any hair loss. Um, or any thinning, you need to make sure you've got those vitamins. Vitamin B, that is the vitamin that is included in all of those hair, skin, and nail vitamins. Vitamin B is essential in your cell renewal and muscle growth, so as you can imagine, all of that region in your hair as well. So this is gonna really help strengthen and give that turnover. As it's a tea, it's antioxidant, it's anti-inflammatory, so if you're experiencing any certain areas of your hair that are just experiencing quite a lot of stress or strain, maybe you've just taken your hair out of braids, sage tea is the one to go. This goes hand in hand with my breakage video, if you haven't seen it, I'll leave a link to it. This is like a follow-up and is such a great addition to the regimen and routine to really make sure your hair is super strong. I actually think this is also a really great alternative if you are protein sensitive, so that is you find all protein conditioners really don't work for you, but you feel like you need something extra that's gonna help with breakage and excess shedding and just to re-strengthen your hair, a tea rinse is a great option for you. So I've actually pre-pooed and detangled my hair yesterday and then I've re-twisted my hair loosely and nice and loose so that I can get right the way to my scalp and clean that easily but it just means that I can retwist it so I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo and then show you the tea rinse
guys, this is me admittedly like a few days later. I was feeling really bunged up. Um, but I've flung my hair into a ponytail, which is really fun for me. Like, what? I've got a ponytail. Um, and my little antennas at the front. I've just left these free so it's not too tight around this area because it's really fragile for me. But give a tea rinse a try. Maybe if you're struggling with excess shedding, you just want a bit of strength, or you just want to try something new and add something to your regimen, I'd highly suggest doing it twice a month for three months and seeing how you get on. I've really noticed a significant difference in the health of my hair and the condition of my hair because I think I've been plodding along but I've really reached a point where I want to be consistent using good quality products, a good quality regimen and get on that length retention train. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.